Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. As we all know, the United States holds a large number of chip core technologies. When the United States implements chip rules, most of the semiconductor giants are involved. If you want to do business with specific customers, you need to obtain a license from the United States. It has been three years since the United States imposed chip sanctions. China's semiconductors have undergone great changes, and the results may not be what the United States wants to see. Netizens lamented, after three years, the US chip sanctions against China have finally failed. What happens when a chip is born? Generally speaking, it is divided into three major links, design, manufacturing, packaging, and testing. Every link needs the support of the global industrial chain. The EDA industrial software used in design is monopolized by the United States, and the architecture technology is also in the hands of AIM and Intel. These have a lot to do with American technology. Manufacturing is more difficult. Dozens of semiconductor equipment are involved in lithography machines, etching machines, cleaning machines, thin film deposition, etc. Not surprisingly, American technology also has a high proportion of technology. Once the United States speaks, Dutch ASML cannot freely ship EUV lithography machines. Relatively speaking, Chinese manufacturers have greater advantages in the field of packaging and testing, and the world's top packaging and testing giant of JCET is a Chinese manufacturer. Moreover, Shanghai Microelectronics can provide advanced packaging and testing lithography machines that support 2.5D, 3D packaging and testing. Any chip production link is inseparable from the global supply chain. Only by maintaining global development can the industry flourish. The United States, on the other hand, does the opposite. It doesn't want to make progress on its own, and it doesn't allow others to make progress. The United States is worried about being surpassed by competitors, so it implemented chip rules and imposed sanctions on Chinese semiconductor companies, making it impossible for Chinese companies to smoothly purchase the equipment they need. Not only can the United States not hinder China's semiconductor progress, but it will also accelerate the advancement of Chinese chips. It can be seen from some market data that Chinese wafer manufacturers have lived up to expectations. In the list of the world's top 10 wafer foundries in 2022, three Chinese companies, SMIC, Huahong Group, and Crystal Integration, are on the list, ranking 4th, 5th, and 9th respectively. SMIC is the most powerful and largest wafer manufacturer in mainland China. Last year, its revenue reached 48.5 billion yuan, with an annual growth rate of 40.58%. Although Jingheqing ranked 9th, its annual growth rate exceeded 92.59%, which is the best result in the top 10 rankings. The performance of these data shows one point, that is, under the rules of the United States, wafer manufacturers in mainland China can still live a good life. Of course, such achievements are inseparable from the strong demand in the Chinese market. We all know that China is the world's largest chip consumer market, which can provide great market opportunities for domestic and foreign chip suppliers. Last year, China's integrated circuit imports decreased by 97 billion units year on year, and the lack of imports was equivalent to the lost orders of U.S. companies. 
Apart from the factor of declining demand, the more reason is that most of the mature chips are produced domestically. SMIC, Huahong Group, and other domestic manufacturers can produce mature technology chips, bringing more support to meet domestic demand. Moreover, both SMIC and Huahong Group are currently building 12-inch fab projects. Once all factories are completed, the production capacity of mature chips can be further improved. The United States does have the advantage of high-end chips and continues to impose sanctions on high-end chips, but the demand for high-end chips is ultimately limited. Only in the field of consumer electronic equipment can the maximum performance be exerted. If it is placed in the Internet of Things and smart home industries, it is prone to overperformance. The more the United States blocks high-end chips, the more likely it will lead to a decline in demand for high-end chips. Everyone will stop buying smartphones, computers, and tablets. Then a series of American chip companies such as Qualcomm, NVIDIA, Micron Technology, Apple, and AMD will lose huge profits. Sales Market Share Demand determines the market, and it is undoubtedly a wise choice for Chinese manufacturers to deploy based on mature chip needs. Of course, it does not mean that high-end chips will not be developed. In the current situation where the corresponding level cannot be reached, the best strategy is to take the route that suits you. Moreover, the mature chip market has huge demand and many opportunities for commercial orders, which will help companies increase revenue and profits, consolidate the foundation of scientific research, attract more talents to settle in, and gather more power for the impact of high-end chips in the future. When everything is ready, it will be a matter of course. Some American media said that after three years, the chip sanctions have failed, and the United States cannot stop the development of Chinese chips. Just like Bill Gates said in an interview with the British media, the United States will never be able to prevent China from having its own powerful chips. The United States has not realized the mistake so far, and is still working with the Netherlands and Japan to reach an agreement in an attempt to include more semiconductor equipment into the export control regulations. If the United States takes this step, it will only lead the United States into a darker and far-reaching situation. It will depend on whether the United States can make the right choice to bear the bitter fruit brought about by the chip rules. If you agree with the point of view of this video, please like it, welcome to forward, leave a message and share.